Hello and happy Thanksgiving. This Thanksgiving, I'm thankful to all the wonderful toys and games and gifts my my daddy Riyadh and my mommy approved. My daddy Riyadh got me and my mommy Diana approved over the years of my childhood. This here is the X-Men series 2. That's when I got into X-Men. And it's not just X-Men, it's Marvel in general, but, you know, I, I got Series 2, and I got into Series 3, and then I got out of it. I've already posted Series 3, which was I think was like 1995 or 1996, and this was from 1994. So, if you thought those were ancient, these are even older. I just posted the other one first because, technically, the, the art is a little more um, uh, impressive, but these are all great great animations um not animations what was i saying great cartoonists and you know they, they don't really draw them like this anymore they put in a lot of we like see this this weird purple like glaze that they put on there and how his head looks like smoothed out that's what they use for everything now and it's kind of disappointing that they don't have any uh popping colors and great poses like they used to back in the old day and these cards were something to behold man everyone in my school was all about marvel and uh we would always uh trade cards in the playground and try to get one-ups on our friends and make good deals but i was such a, a bad uh uh business person that I, I like to this day, I've never made a profit on a trade my whole life. And so my dad just got sick and tired of me losing my shit and went out and bought the entire collection for me. And that was a, a, a huge, really big deal for me back then because I would go through these almost on a daily basis and read the. <clears throat> Re read the read the cards and check out all the the fine ladies and ogle all the the badass backstories and people's uh histories and and really get into it and you know we we have marvel today in a very large capacity but a lot of these people haven't even been explored i don't know why deadpool is under super villains come on guys you know the deal He's a good guy, right? Right? Right, Ryan? Mr. Reynolds? Deadpool's a good guy? What does it say here about him? Cunning, dangerous, deadly. Few men in my experience have epitomized all three better than Deadpool. Rumored to be another product of the Weapon X project, Deadpool's bio-enhancements make him one of the world's foremost assassins. Though I know surprisingly little about him, I'm certain that Deadpool represents one of my worst fears, a super-powered mutant with little or no regard for life. And for that, we thank him. Not everybody who kills is a bad guy. That, that we know today. Uh, because some some people know that Two wrongs don't make a right, but it's not always the case. If there's a serial killer on the loose, sometimes the best thing you can do is put the world out of its misery and take him out. Now, I'm not saying people who play in imaginary universes like the Marvel Universe should be treated as serial killers. I mean, if you're just playing Nintendo and jumping on turtles' heads as Mario, there's no reason to take that person out. Fap to that. But if you're just... Uh, um. If you're just going on rampages with like dump trucks and weed whackers and chainsaws and like all sorts of hype ass like weapons and killing people in real life, by all means, give those motherfuckers the chair. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully society will learn to differentiate between fantasy violence and real world violence in a day and age where our fantasies portray lives that are more real than the lives we lead ourselves. In in other words, if I, if I play a video game today, it's likely that the video game will be 10 times as involving and interesting and and beautiful and wonderful as my life is in the real world. And so it's hard to give it justice, you know? Like, I shouldn't be lording over these things, and I shouldn't be... Um, a part of the operating environment because they're just going to ask me to s assassinate people and and I almost never agree with the quest givers. Um, 
So it's important to take a step back sometimes and get back to wholesome en entertainment and wholesome pursuits. And, uh, you know, this, this Marvel stuff is old enough that it's wholesome and it's grand, grand enough that you won't get bored by it. So it was a very special time in history to be a part of that. And, and I'm grateful for it. I've also got my Star Trek cards here. Maybe I'll show those to you someday. This little pack here is the most elite collection of Star Trek cards I've ever gotten. It was a gift from my friend Will Tran. And I've also got some, uh, some, some more Star Trek cards in here. And some uh, Spider-Man stuff right there. When they when they gave Spider-Man his own um, his own card universe, and uh, maybe I'll, I'll upload those another time. But let me just set the phone down a minute. I've got to put this back. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. Uh, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. I'll be uploading this to YouTube tonight. If I get any views, it'll be a wonder because nobody seems to be interested in my garbage. But, you know, this stuff is history. It's 1994. That was uh, 25 years ago, 25th anniversary of this Marvel stuff. And we just had Avengers Endgame this year. So maybe that's it for Marvel. But who knows? Maybe they'll surprise us with uh, further stories and and more wondrous uh, um, stuff, uh, all sorts of toys to buy for Christmas, all sorts of history to soak up, and stories to tell, and wonders to learn about, and it's a really informative part of life to learn safely all the terrors that adults in the military and in the intergalactic police have to deal with, um, which is uh, not, not really for kids, but the more we can give them in a safe fashion, uh, to prep themselves for what they'll run into as adults, the better. And a lot of this Marvel stuff uh, is fiction, but truth can be stranger than fiction. So it, you, you should take it as though um, not necessarily like the embodiment of like an elemental force like Iceman or Storm or whatever could could do stuff, but like the the, the powers they have represent technologies and systems in life that may or may be true um, and you wouldn't believe them to be. Anyway, uh, I should probably get going. I've got an appointment to play Diablo 3 with my buddy Alex, uh, trying to get him past the archives of Zoltan Cool. So I'll be doing that tonight, this wonderful Thanksgiving. And tomorrow I'll be shopping for a new computer because I've had this Cosmos 2 badass for like 10 years. And I don't know if you can hear it. Can you hear that? Like that fan is really noisy and it's been cutting off and overheating and the disk drive is broken and uh, these buttons don't seem to do anything to help the fan problem and uh, just all sorts of problems running up with this thing. So hopefully I'll get a new computer tomorrow. That's it for now. Have a great Thanksgiving. I'll get back with you before Christmas. And uh, uh, please uh, leave me a comment, like, subscribe, and uh, have a good have a good life.